fall, perhaps around the Big Bend. And again, the computer modeling really kind of locked in on Florida's west coast. So based on that track, what can we expect around here? Well, we've got the rain. That's going to continue, and it will continue to accumulate the rain that started on Saturday, continuing now on Sunday night, and perhaps into Monday at times could reach maybe 12 inches in some parts of coastal Palm Beach County, which I'm defining as everything east of the turnpike. So that gives you an idea of that. Now, in terms of wind on Sunday, sustained winds 55 to 60, and wind gusts may be approaching Hurricane force storm surge two to four feet next high tide and this is important comes at about 12 hours. There's a high tide underway right about now. That's coastal Palm Beach County. Inland Palm Beach County because you'll be theoretically a little closer to the storm, maybe higher wind gusts up to 80 and maybe a little more rain as well with uh, local amounts up to maybe 14 inches up the road. We go to Martin County again rainfall about the same the winds. Again, hurricane forest winds and storm surge running three to five feet, perhaps significant there in parts of Martin County, especially during that high tide cycle around noontime on Sunday. For uh, St. Lucie County, 40 to 55 mile per hour sustained winds, maybe one or two gusts approaching hurricane force. The storm surge three to five feet. A little bit farther north we go, Indian River County, the impact from Hurricane Irma as the storm continues moving north. Sustained winds 45 to 55, hurricane force wind gusts possible, storm surge 3 to 5 feet, 8 to 12 inches of rain. And finally, the Lake Okeechobee area, and in particular, Okeechobee County, maybe 14 inches of rain with wind gusts again approaching 75 miles per hour. On its current track, the storm expected to come very close to Key West at 8 o'clock on uh, Sunday morning. It's about seven hours away. Part of the Keys experiencing hurricane force winds as we speak. Then later on Sunday, especially 7 or 8 o'clock, a second landfall on Florida's west coast. That's the latest on Hurricane Urban. We're watching the radar. And again, that tornado watch remains in effect. Much more in a couple minutes.